So we're going to start with lesson two, which is our uh, introduction to downloading WYSIWYG. I want to say before we start that the point of this training video is, is to give you a, a perspective, uh, my perspective, on how to use WYSIWYG. Uh, what I'm suggesting isn't by any means the only way of doing things, it's just the way that I've picked up. Uh, there's usually two or three different ways of doing the same task in WYSIWYG. So you may have your own, you may speak to someone that does something differently or a better way. Uh, by no means do I know everything there is to know about WYSIWYG, but I've been using it for over 20 years uh, and the last 10 years uh, I've been at the Roll Opera House, I've produced over 300 productions in WYSIWYG. So I have a lot of experience in using it and I have a, a tried and tested method. So a lot of what I'm describing to you in these videos is my method, uh, that works for me. Uh, hopefully they're useful to you too as a, as a method, but you might want to develop your own and I'd love to hear how you get on. So we're going to dive right in. This is very simple. We're going to start off just downloading and installing um, because you know we can start right from the beginning. And as we get through the lessons, we'll start to get into you know the, the deep dive into the actual WYSIWYG software. Okay, so let's get started. So lesson two is all about downloading and installing WYSIWYG. Uh, as you can see on my desktop, I already have WYSIWYG release 41 installed, which is the the most recent version of WYSIWYG that I'm able to install at this point. Uh, I'm sure when you're watching this video there'll be later versions and I'll add some updates, things that have changed uh, to this video library uh, as those moments come. So the first thing to do is go to uh, your WYSIWYG uh, website. So we go to cast-soft.com and in there we should have access to the members only area which is up here at the top. And the members only area gives us access to some information about our license. So you may have a, uh, a, full, a full license, which you've, uh, you pay for and you pay a, an annual subscription to, to keep renewing. Or maybe you have a lease license, which is slightly more expensive per year, but you don't have to commit to the upfront costs. So um, I actually have a, a mixture of both, depending on, uh, on what I'm using. I find the lease quite handy just so I can, I can renew it for three months just for a project at a time. Uh, but then the full licenses are quite handy if I have a, uh, a project that's running on for a long time or maybe a, a building or a venue that I work with a lot so I can leave a dongle with them all the time. Once you're in the members only area, there's a couple of things I want to draw your attention to. The main one is dongle reauthorization. This is a bit different to dongle uh, renewals, uh, but it works exactly the same way. The idea is when you renew your dongle and you've paid some money and you've got a code, you go through a dongle renewal wizard to install that code so that you can carry on using it for the next year. Reauthorization is the same except you don't have to pay for anything. It's just something that happens within that year of your license existing. Just to make sure that the dongle belongs to you and you still have it, uh, all you have to do is put the dongle into the machine, um, load up a website, uh, the cost-soft.com website, and it will take you automatically to a dongle reauthorization system. Um, it will send you a warning when, uh, when it needs to be done, it gives you 30 days to complete it. And you just log into the account and it will give you a um, uh, give you a code after doing a little check on your dongle. You put that into the into the wizard, hit OK and it's done for another year. So it's not too difficult but it's a bit annoying when you discover you need it uh, and you're in the middle of the project and you can't remember your password. So it's always good just to keep uh, keep using your wizard with dongle and make sure that it's, it's all working current and it's all up, you know, covered with correct licenses and it's all you know, paid for. Uh, it's not, not what you want when you're working with a professional client to finally discover that your dongle isn't working. The most important part is down here. This is uh, the dongle that I've selected. I want to go into the members only area. It gives you a list of all your dongles. You click on one. Uh, and I've clicked on a perform license, which expires in June 2019. It's telling me I have six months remaining on it. And uh, if I click details, it will take me to some information about this dongle, including how to renew it, how much it will cost to renew it for another year. If I click download here, it will take me to my options to download the uh, the latest version of the software. So it always lists the latest version at the top, R41, update, full installer. I have options to look at older versions of R41, which is you know, further down. It might have a network server. If you're running a network dongle, you should know if you've got one. If you've just got a normal dongle, you don't need that. Uh, reference guides, quick start guides, all kind of useful things, but... Really all you need is this one at the top here. If you want to download an older version, you can. There's, there's options for those. Um, I do sometimes download the old version. If I'm working on a uh, project, I don't want to up upgrade to the latest version until that project's finished. 
just just because I don't know what sort of little gremlins will appear into my my model if I have um, if I've done an upgrade while well, it's all working fine. So I keep all my uh, computers at the same release and then I'll upgrade them all in one go. So sometimes even if the latest versions come out, I might still be installing some of the older versions. Um, so the idea is you click download, and in Chrome it's just going to appear at the bottom. Uh, so I've got uh, a bracket two after mine, so I've downloaded it a couple of times already, but it is uh, going to be called WIG 41U1 in your downloads library or wherever your downloads go to. You simply click on that and it takes you to an install shield wizard, which is just like any other PC software. Uh, I've no idea what that's like on a Mac, never tried it, don't do Macs, but um, the once you've installed the software it works the same way. Um, and the idea is that you, you click through, you get some nice images showing people's work and uh, gives you something to look at while you're installing it. You just click clicking next, like any other program, and eventually you have a, uh, a little icon on your desktop like I do. Let's just say WYSIWYG release 41. So with that, we'll take you to the next lesson.